Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about this Angular JSON file. What are the options that are available in the Angular JSON file? We have seen. Now let's let's move forward to some of the commands. So let's try to learn one, some of the Angular CLI commands that are available. So we have learned one command that is how to create a new application. Okay, ng new. So ng new command is useful for creating a new application. Now if we move to the another command. So we have another important thing that is nothing but ng generate. So why we want need to learn this ng generate is we have created an application. Now it's time for us to write the code. To write the code means we need to create a component or a service or a module or anything. So anything we need to create a thing, a directive, enums, everything we need will be creating, right? So in order to write a code, we need to create the files. Now for creating those files or anything components or anything so we will be using the command ng generate okay so we'll be using this command ng generate generate means it will generate the code for us so whatever the file you want to generate so it will generate the code for us if you try to see the command for this one generates or modified files based on a schematic i have already previously explained to you about the schematic schematic means nothing but so here in this angular json file you will be having this one. So whatever the things that are available in the schematics in the schema file. So those all the things will be available using the generate command. So if you try to see here ng generate. If you, if you see the command ng generate and the third option is the schematic and the fourth one is the options. So the options are nothing but whatever we have learned up to now. So dry run, the skip test, these are all the things we have learned right. So those things only the option. So for each schematic, you will be having a separate separate options. So what is this schematic? So now for this generate, you will be having a shorthand notation that is G, G for generate. So you can either mention as a generate or otherwise you can mention it as a G also. So it's not a problem. NG is an angular CLI. NG generate and schematic. So what is this schematic? Schematic is nothing but what we can say is so these are all the schematic sub commands okay so for example if you want to generate an application as i already told you that an angular application so we can have multiple pro applications also we have seen in the projects right so in the same scenario if you want to create an application so you can use the command ng generate application okay if you want to create a class something like typescript class so you can use ng generate class if you want to create a directive so you can use ng generate directive in the same scenario so these are all the schematics that are available so here you will be able to see the component also ng generate component if you click on this one you will be able to see the some more details so you will be coming down okay so here if you go at the top these are the things we are learning so one by one you will be able to see here down here you will be able to see the defaults so these are the, some of the options you will see one by one okay the schematic commands okay first one is an app shell generates an app shell for running server server side version of an app so if you want to run the server side so you can use this app shell so this is command so these are all some of the commands you will be able to see ng generate application so it generates a new basic app definition in the project subfolder so we have seen right so project subfolder will be created so in the subfolder we have we, a new application will be created so application and the name of the application some of the options that are available so here you will be able to see the options so these are all what I can say is these are all the schematics that are available in this ng generate. Okay. So this is the main command. The root command is this ng generate and whatever the schematic if you want to uh, run. So what a schematic means sub command or anything. So if you want to run, if you want to create a component, if you want to create a pipe, resolver, service, library, interface, interceptor. So whatever the things you want to develop. So you can, you can, you can develop using this ng generate. Okay. So this is the main concept of this ng generate. So here down you will be able to see all the sub commands that are helpful and what are the different types of options you will be able to have. So common things what I can say is the common things what we will be using here. The common things what we will be using here whatever the thing we will be using is class file. Okay we can we will be creating component, directive, enum, guard, interceptor, interface, library. Library is a separate thing so we will discuss about this library. Modules pipes, resolver, service, these are all the things we will be creating, okay. So in the next video, we will try to create a component, generate the component using this ng generate command. So why I am telling you separately about this ng generate is, don't think that 
ng generate command uh, something like ng gc generate command or ng generate directive don't think those all things as a separate commands so these all comes under ng generate main command only so these are all the schematics or the blueprints whatever the name they will be calling so the commonly so they will be calling it as schematics some people will be calling as blue blueprint blueprint is that uh, component these all things are blueprints so like this some people will be calling it as sub commands so like this they will be calling but the main command is ng generate only after this ng generate only you will be able to see the component or anything so don't think that ng generate component is a separate command ng generate directive as a separate command don't think like that so those are all sub commands main command is the ng generate okay so i want to explain that main thing so that's why i have made a separate on this ng generate now in the next video we will try to see what are the most commonly used uh, ng generate commands like component creation service creation module creation like this let's try to see in a normal way and we'll let's try to see it uh, brief for you and what are the options normally available so most used commands for that one hope you understood about this ng uh, ng generate command so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you